I study inflammation and the inflammatory reaction. And then I develop materials towards this specific reaction to get more and specific immunotherapies. There are millions of people suffering from inflammatory disorders. By developing these smarter immunotherapies and immunomodulating materials, we can inhibit the reaction smarter than today's anti-inflammatory drugs, which actually leads to more side effects and other effects that we don't want. The grant from the Hasselblad Foundation will help me start my research team. I will be recruiting a senior scientist who will help in developing these materials for smarter immunotherapies. My research is about identifying the molecular mechanisms that regulate the establishment and specialization of the main cell types that form the tissues and the organs of a developing embryo. And then I am also interested in uh, identifying the molecular process that can go wrong during development and possibly cause disease. So specifically, I'm interested in childhood leukemia, for which um, there is more and more evidence showing that the very first hit happens actually before birth, during development. And then after birth, there would be a second hit that is necessary for an actual leukemia to start. But it is not yet known how this very first hit uh, takes place, uh, what populations, what cell populations are affected in the embryo. And, and so my research basically focuses on developing in vitro laboratory uh, cell culture based models that I will use then to study these uh, molecular processes. Uh, in the future, um, this platform that I am uh, setting up can be applied to study um, any other process that happens in uh, the developing embryo. So I am specifically looking at the very early events that eventually lead to childhood leukemia, but one could also use this for any other childhood cancer that has um, some molecular events taking place already uh, in development. So the, the Hasselblad Foundation grant will help me set up a cross-disciplinary team to carry out my project. One of the main applications of the grant will be to um, help each of my team members develop their individual and very specialized skills to the top. So I plan to send them to different uh, collaborating laboratories around the world where they will be immersed in environments where they can really uh, develop their skills to the max and then come back to my uh, lab and apply them to their projects.